Alright guys, just a uh, quick little tip with fueling up in uh, Asia. So we spent about a year cruising through Indonesia and uh, a lot of people that we met cruising had a lot of fuel issues with dirty fuel. Um, we had a lot of extra filters which everyone recommended taking. I'd hardly used any of them to be honest. But what I did do was pre-filter all of our diesel before it went into our tank. So you can do it many different ways. I know people have all sorts of fancy filters on their boats, but all we did was had a tube, a PVC pipe, which you can see here, 150 PVC pipe. So it's like my funnel. I take the lid off this. And this one we're just about to change out today is just a filter sock. So this here, will be a year of Indonesia. So I'll just get this sock so I don't spill it everywhere. And open it up and give you a look. So I'll just cut this open, just to give you an idea. So, it's just like sludge. Uh, so that's from all the pre-filtering. It's just like a big lot of sludge in there. So with our um, secondary and primary filter downstairs, um, the filters have been cleaned the whole time through cruising through Asia. So I don't know if we've just lucked it with the fuel or whether it was because of these socks. But I would say, um, just using these socks has really helped. They're cheap, you can get them on Amazon or eBay or whatever, they're just a st pretty standard filter sock. Um, I think they're about a five micron. It's the actual name, so we've had lots of people ask you. Yeah. Um, we can put the link down below um, to wh what you ordered. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try and find the link we'll for that. We'll try and find the link and we'll put but it. There is a US company that does them. If you look up diesel filter socks, there's, there's heaps of them and it depends on what size you want to make. I made that just so it's like a bit of a funnel and it's easy to um, sort of pour out of for us. But that's all they are, is a filter sock. It just saves um, dirtying up all your filters and having issues with fuel for the sake of, I don't know, I think they're only like five, ten dollars for a sock. Yeah, it saves the heartache of uh, breaking down on the passage. And thank you to Simon, because that was uh, Simon off Red Dragonfly. Yeah. That gave, yeah. He actually went and bought all the stuff for us in Australia before we left to Indonesia, so that was really helpful. Whole year with no bad fuel. Thanks, Simon. I've actually got this one, it's actually a bit long. Oh, it's a bit Actually big. We ordered them and they're a bit long, but anyway. We ordered the good. wrong size. Simon, he needs your help, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make it work. <laughs> all right, well, this one we got, so it's slightly different fit to our first one anyway, but it's all good. Actual, it'll work to what we want it to. But, um, it is handy having it up a bit higher, pouring out of the jerry cans, depending on what you do, but that's roughly the gist of it. Run that through your sock first. This feels not too bad, but definitely some areas you get to, the fuel can be just really dark and dirty. Alpha style. Hasn't let us down yet. But even if you do have a fancy rake or set up, still doesn't hurt to run it through the pre-filter and um, yeah, get the life out of your filters. New one? Dirty one.
Thanks, Dad, for that informative information. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please press the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.